Welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over the knockout set and how to use it. So if you're an apprentice and your journeyman asks you to go get the knockout set, uh, you'll know what to identify and also how it's used and some examples of how not to use it. So as you can see right here, we've got a Greenlee Slug Buster kit. Uh, that's pretty common. From here, we've got a 3.8 draw stud. In this one, we have a three quarter inch draw stud. And if you notice, both of these draw studs fit, fit this flat ratchet or Greenlee's flat ratchet that comes with the kit. So you can also see there's common trade size here. We've got half inch EMT or conduit, three quarter, one inch, on up to inch and a half, I believe, or uh, two inch, I'm sorry. Uh, this one has it. So we'll get this other kit out. Let's get this out of the way. This one's a little bit more sophisticated. We've got a hydraulic punch where you put your draw stud in here. Screw it in. And then you have the same KOs as you've seen before. But for this one, it's just a little hydraulic pump. You go ahead and close the valve on this. And then this, this the draw stud gets drawn in and the metal gets cut. This one is, uh, they call it a quick draw kit versus the first one was a slug buster kit. So let me get set up and show you guys how this works. All right, guys, I got all set up. So today we're just using a uh, four square with uh, brackets, no big deal. But one of the common problems when running pipe Say we've already got a three, three quarter inch pipe on uh, utilizing this hole. Well, the next one up is a half inch and we need to bring in another three quarter inch pipe to this box. So what we do is we'll be able to use that, the KOs, and knock this out to three quarters. So first off, we'll knock out the half inch hole and we'll come over here pull out our three quarter inch KO, get it set up, we'll stick this right here, stick the draw stud right through there, and then we'll take the slug buster, and please guys, remember, <laughs> this is your cutting edge right here. This right here is what cuts your hole. If you put this slug buster in this way, this surface has no cutting purpose. Um, you're either gonna bust your, your draw stud or your cutter itself, and you're definitely gonna hear about it from the uh, journeyman. So please make sure you put your cutting edge in, get it started, suck it on up, come on, we can make a longer draw stud. You see how that's tight? We bring out our flat ratchet. It even tells you on or off here. So we're going to go on, I think. There we go. 
And as I as I turn this, the draw stud is going to be drawing this through. It's going to get easy. And then right before it gets all the way through, we should hear two pops usually. One, there's two. And then that draw went all the way through. And now we have another three quarter inch hole right here that we can bring our EMT into or conduit, whatever, to a three quarter inch hole. Now, for demo purposes, we're going to pull out the hydraulic punch. And let's go ahead and punch a two inch hole right through here. Just for demo purposes. So first, we're gonna knock out our half inch hole. If you guys aren't using a box that has knockouts already, you can get your unit uni bit out, drill you a hole to the size of this draw stud um, also, you can get your drill bit out that'll be bigger than this 3 8 draw stud. Pull, pull a half inch KO through there, then you will end up with this hole right here. Then, if you need to go bigger, you pull out the 3 8 or the 3 quarter inch draw stud and go from there. So Let's get this all set up. Here we've got our, our hydraulic draw. So we'll go ahead and put this draw stud in there. So you guys see that. Make sure it bottoms it out. And we go ahead. And we're gonna put this this die onto this side. Stick the draw stud through and then put the punch on there. Making sure it's as tight as it goes. There we go. Now uh, you can get your lineman, close this valve up, and give it a few pumps. And there you go. This one's a little little crazy, so we'll have to jiggle it just a little. There we go. And now we have a two inch hole in the back of our box. Let me get you guys closer so you can see this. You can see that two inch hole that uh, we created. Now keep in mind, you will knock out these these little half inch knockouts already but that's pretty much it on how to use a knockout set uh, there again these are greenly uh, I don't know of any other kind that's all we've used so um, I'm sure there's some more out there what else is there uh, Unibits, I think that's it guys. Um, I'm gonna leave some pictures um, and it'll be descriptions or demonstrations on what not to do. I've got a few people that uh, put the punch in backwards so uh, they may be not being electricians anymore but I do have pictures to prove that uh, 
they did do what they did. So as always, guys, uh, please subscribe if you like the channel. I'll be posting more electrical trade videos, how-tos. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I can show you receptacle switches, some minor breakers. I'm not going to get too far or whatever you need. Uh, please uh, leave me a comment below. And as always, be safe out there.